So I watch sport a lot. Uh, I was actually watching uh, Beckham's documentary the other day, and my God, I didn't know what all that guy had gone through. Obviously, I didn't follow football as much as I was watching the other sports. So I always thought of Beckham a certain way. But when I saw man the trauma that guy has really? faced and survived, I said, "Fuck, true hero, man." No, really. I thought he was like a privileged city boy. Like no, no, you've not seen that documentary. Oh, watch. please watch it. It is really? just going to completely change your mind about Beckham. Oh, it is completely going to change your mind about Beckham. It is. unrelenting the amount of hate and trauma he has faced true from when he was 19 i mean like hatred like like the whole country that you know hang hanging idols where they're hanging you and things like that so much hatred so much hatred and he just goes he does his thing and he survives it he does his thing and he survives it incredible i think that and that too it's british media which is yeah. like oh, very toxic terrible, terrible. i think that's why he fucked off to america and he's happy there yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. even the whole thing uh when he was uh, playing in the european leagues all the trauma that he went through there also mm. it's beautifully documented you should just what's it called it. it's called beckham beckham yeah mm. everything watch. about beckham like his perfume is called beckham <laughs> and hey, see it gave it gave me such a beautiful insight that everybody's life from the outside is like are van ke in the mm. kind of situation you don't know what that person has gone through to reach that point exactly. you absolutely don't have don't know so it it's i think a great insight for all youngsters who sit and see this glamour world of people and saying man this is so cool to actually understand on a day to day how much they have dealt with mm. and why they deserve what they what they've got mm. you know? it's a price they've had to pay for it and still never left that that path like he's 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 benched he's bench beckham is fucking benched mm. okay and yet he's going back he's showing up at practice yeah. with his mm. teammates mm. He's just showing up for practice, even though he knows he's not going to play the next match. He's just going, and he says he knows the manager doesn't want him in there, but he's just going, mm. showing up every day for practice, playing, playing, playing. They send him for practice separately. He's still practicing. Then the teammates are feeling bad. They're saying, "No, can you let him practice with us?" That relentless nature of his made the coach change his mind, and he said, "No, I want no. him to play." And I think Ferguson also throws a shoe at him at some uh, point. He didn't right? throw a shoe. He was angry and even kicked, and that shoe. flew at nictus it is that oh it's a beautiful story it's so uh, somebody should make a film out of it some day mm. it's a great story it's a great story of this coach who was his father figure and things that happened and everything that changes that that guy's life and he's such a great guy such a great yeah. guy yeah become as a gentle guy like he's a gentle soul i like it's a beautiful guy. story yeah. so I, i like see the thing is that's why i like to talk about people and talk to people I, you get so many insights into mm. things which Correct. which actually feed your mind it's not mm. even like even if i wasn't a filmmaker if i was just freaking sending sandwiches or hot dogs on a beach i would love to do this because that's mm-hmm. just part of who i am I, i'm curious about people i like yeah. i people watch have you ever done that if you park somewhere yeah, and yeah, wait yeah. for 45 minutes let's say watch people yeah i also i, I trip on people a lot Mr. like nenu inta mall lo vachinappudu oka father oka family atlo sunte i just think like are ekkad ki lochinru will what is their back story ipudu mall ki vachinru and by father cheptu kon interesting body language ganapadutunte odu no yaar asukunta maatladutuntadu odu edo antuntadu odu edo antuntadu it's great fun i love people watching that's another thing that i love i like wherever i'm going i like just look at people and I just like have i'll make my own back story about him are ba satayistundante emo daddy ki em em goni koniyale inti koin tarata em chestadu odu daddy ni manchi anipistadu so uh, we have one next question who were the filmmakers that you enjoyed watching as a youngster so when i was a youngster when i was a kid i didn't really know director hmm. it used to be just uh, whatever movie came up uh, you know and uh, from jane uh, bido uh, yaro all that you know later on i went and i dig, dug up and started seeing who were these filmmakers i uh, actually appudu doordarshan lo 10:30 thirty ki atla they used to have these movies which were so, uh, kurosawa's films and also i actually saw kurosawa on doordarshan can you believe it appo to chinna pudu chinna pudu the kurosawa the doordarshan was playing man that's what i'm trying to tell you it was so freaking awesome yeah yeah, yeah. i didn't know it's kurosawa hmm. so i remember seeing some seven samurai that time when i was a kid and i remember just being fascinated by the image ante nenu i was a weird kid i used to watch palu chelu pandula pempakam program also <laughs> anything that had a moving visual i used to watch so late night was one of those rare things if my grandfather is not at home i switch on the tv and sit and watch we're not allowed to touch the tv 
So I remember seeing Seven, seven Samurai mm. and being fascinated by it. Just, you know, there would be the silence. And then one drum is going, doom, doom, doom. Then one horse, horseman over us to do, Hariro! Matta karadeho! Malla ka silence on to do. Malla ka silence on to do. Hori shi, kita parikar to do. It was just a different way of Filmmaking for me. If you look at the cinema, you can see that Amitabh Bachchan is in the cinema. It's a different cinema. But it held you. I didn't understand anything of it till much later. Then I read the books Kurosawa wrote. Then I started actually actively watching his films. But growing up on those days, this Ketan Mehta's films, Mirch Masala, all these used to come. Sham Benegal's films used to come. So all this so-called art film used to also come while I was watching commercial films in the theater. Yeah. So there was this parallel kind of thing happening and I had no clue what is parallel cinema. Either TV or yeah. cinema, or the theater or the cinema. Ante ondo ne manaka. So yeah, Mirch Masala, all the, till today Mirch Masala is such a stunning film. I watched it recently again. Yeah. It is a stunning freaking film. And now I'm sitting and seeing all that and saying, what are we trying to do now? What are we trying to do now? What are we trying to do now? Actually, Bhansali gave a nice tribute to Mirch Masala. Did you notice in Padmavad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they throw the coal, I was like, hey, Mirch Masala. But it's so interesting that you grew, I mean, you loved all these like, yeah, yeah, yeah. slightly artistic movies. Yeah, yeah slightly and full Apudu artistic movies, those were. And but Apudu, you, you were, like, you had any of this thing, or in movies, yes, or yeah, like, just time pass, entertainment goes on to you. Just time pass, because I was in the theater, I was in the cinema. I was a full freak, like, sit, whistle, scream types. Even now, <laughs> Balrishna cinema, I'm on first day, first show, I'll go off. Mm. I sit and watch, I enjoy, I'll enjoy energy in theater. Mm. So whatever it is, I will have fun and come. I, I go to a movie wanting to like it. Mm. I'm that person, I've paid 250 bucks. I'm ready with popcorn, oh. one maza. Now I want to have fun for three hours. Just oh. fucking give me just this much and I will freak out and go. Huh. That's it. I don't want to sit and analyze it. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of times I leave the filmmaker out. I will just have fun and come. But I, I, I want to be the viewer because that's that's the child in me. Correctly. And that's who I try to keep alive. I'm a kid at heart. I'm an absolute kid at heart. And very small things make me happy. Alpa Santosh and Targada, that is me. If you have a good idea, you can eat a good idea. You can eat a good idea. You can eat a good idea. I think that is the reason I, 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 I am quite stress free, relatively stress free. I manage my stress because I have managed somehow to keep that child alive in me. So that's how I view cinema. And I think that's how I should see cinema also. Oh. Because they ask me, what is it one tip you'll give to somebody who's telling a story? I say, I just tell them, think you are telling a bunch of five-year-olds. Hmm. If you're sitting with top producers, because I once had to narrate a story to Allu Arvind, Ashwini Dutt, Suresh Babu, KL Narayana, uh, all together. And Raghavandar Rao. In one oh, sitting? One, one sitting. sitting. That's like the Hall oh. of Fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Raghavandar Rao Garu had uh, liked that story and he said, no, this four are forming a company. And, mm. uh, but you're not. Hey, you So I said, no, I didn't So I, I, I was a little nervous, obviously. Who's who? And I said, sir, I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm not going said, no, 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 they'll do it. And uh, then uh, they went and sat and I, I was telling myself, what do I do? And then I said, I have to just forget who they are. I have to just forget who they are and remove that baggage from my head. And I told myself, I'll just see them as five-year-old kids. So I imagined Suresh sir in one little <laughs> shorts and one t-shirt sitting there. So like, so there was Suresh, <laughs> Ashini. <laughs> that was what I was telling myself in my head. And I just went and I had fun and I narrated. So the narration went off well and they obviously, we didn't do the film, but they all, that was the first impression of me. So 